time right now at five, an explosive scare at a Miami-Dade police substation when grenades are found in a home and brought there. This story is all new tonight at five, and CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega has it for us from the police station in West Kendall. Aurelia. Rick Rudabe, the women who found these grenades told us exclusively that they belong to a war veteran who recently passed away. They were in the process of cleaning out his home, which had been sold when they came across these grenades. They brought them to a police substation. They were later detonated in this field behind me. Chopper 4 flies overhead as Miami-Dade police bomb squad members detonate two grenades brought in by two women to a West Kendall police substation. The women say they found the objects while cleaning out a recently deceased veteran's closet. One of the women, who did not want to be identified, says they knew about the grenades for a while. We didn't just find them. The gentleman who passed away that owned them, uh -huh. We knew they were there for months. We just didn't know what to do with them because he assured us they were no good. According to Miami-Dade police, the women brought the grenades to the West District Station at 10,000 Southwest 142nd Avenue. The woman says the grenades had been at the home since 1986. He brought them back from Vietnam. That's all I can tell you. Okay. And when we sold the house, he passed away, we sold the house, had to get everything out of there. So my daughter decided the best thing to do was bring him to the police station. Miami-Dade police closed off a portion of Southwest 142nd Avenue while bomb squad members worked to safely dispose of the grenades. Nobody could go through, you know, the street to the avenue. And back out here live, Southwest 142nd Avenue is back open after this whole situation is done and over with. Also, the police substation lobby, which was evacuated as a precaution, is back to normal as well. Live in West Kendall, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News.